What's going on YouTubers, Mopar people? This is uh, Mopar Man 1978. Uh, we're going to use the Jeep tonight as a uh, guinea pig. Um, it started randomly cutting out the other day. Um, we've got uh, fresh gas in there. Maybe it might have got a little bit of uh, bad gas in one of, from the, one of the gas stations and some water in it maybe. We know it's a, a brand new tank, brand new lines, filter, uh, fuel pump, all that sort of thing. Um, this Jeep was running fine for the longest time and then it's randomly, it's randomly cutting out and the other day the check engine light came on. Um, I checked the plugs, cleaned the plugs, gapped them, rechecked them while I was running. I took each spark plug off, checked for uh, spark. They are all doing good. Checked the uh, distributor cap and rotor. Um, it, uh, threw a code saying, uh, it had, uh, random misfires through a few of the cylinders. So tonight what we're going to do is a cheap, easy test, uh, for you newbies out there. You start the engine up, you take a spray bottle of water, put it on mist, the finest mist you can get. You spray all the spark plug wires and around the distributor cap and spark plugs and coil to see if you have any leaky... Uh, spark plug boots or spark plug wires themselves something's uh, not sealed and causing uh, electric to escape from the wires and, and uh, make con contact with other things in the engine compartment so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off I'm gonna start the Jeep up and uh, let's see if we have any uh, electrical leaks coming off the spark plugs or boots That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the light off here. I'm gonna put this mist all over everything. Here, let's turn it back on, just for a second. Okay, see how I'm wetting everything down in here? Even the coil. Round spark plugs, spark plug wires. Okay, let me shut the light off again and look for a spark.
Okay, don't know if it'll pick it up in the uh, video or not, but uh, it was real small, real, real small. Almost looked like, uh, instead of an actual arc, like you would see coming off of like the wall outlet or something when a wire pops or something. Um, this more like look like more like uh, when you see them real faint little static sparks between between two contacts rubbing. But uh, we had one between these two down here, and then over here where these wires touch up against the block in the valve cover, there was uh, little arcs. Look like little. Sp little spark little tiny little sparkles I don't know if it even was small enough it was, that it'll even show up on the video but um, it's surprising because these are brand new eight millimeter racing wires by MSD that we put on this Jeep that I put on this Jeep um, they are, are universal fit you just cut the other ends to uh, length and put put the connectors in the uh, the boots on them um, what I'll have to do is uh, go back to a uh, seven millimeter original factory size and see if that makes a difference. And then what I'll do is I'll get some uh, um, clamps that keep these spark plugs uh, separated from one another and hopefully maybe shorten down some wires so they're not uh, touching up against the uh, the block we'll see if that makes a difference one thing I did have to do was um, redo all the insulate or wiring and redo the insulation um, this is like 600 uh, plus like uh, high temp um, extreme actually extreme temp extreme cold extreme heat uh, temperature uh, uh, electrical wire or uh, electrical tape anyway um, somewhere in here we also the other thing that was causing an issue for this to randomly cut out was when this coil wire the go the two wires that connect to the back of the coil to run power to the coil and the ground and whatnot um, when it came in contact with these spark plug wires it was causing the engine to randomly cut out and when I moved them clear out of the way and anything off of anything that the spark plug wires might be touching, because I've even seen at night, I've even seen on other wires, like the really horrible A cell wires, uh, I've seen little arcs come off of the, the wires themselves and arc to this, to like the heater hoses and stuff, uh, grounding out or whatever they're doing. Um, and the really crazy one was is on my uh, 80, 82 Dodge pickup the main coil wire coming off and going down into the distributor You could actually watch as the engine was running a ball of electricity run up To a certain spot in the wire and just sit there and look like it was Sparkling and, and then it would run down through the wire. I don't know if it was an electrical pulse or what but uh, when I got rid of my a cell eight millimeter wires and uh, put some better quality wires on some other ra uh, race brand wires it cured all that uh, uh, problem with the wires arcing out and shorting out and causing misfires and stuff like that because I every once in a while what I would touch something like a boot or something I get a little shock but anyway got that problem taken care of on my truck but um, Normally when I do when you do this test with the water the, sp the spray mist and you get everything you if there's something actually leaking You will see the arcs It looks like blue streaks or orange streaks running across to different stuff as each electrical uh, Charge goes to the different wires and whatnot and then it's arcing off on the stuff but, uh, but Anyway um, Hope this video helps you out on uh, diagnosing a problem on your vehicle whether it be a new one or an old one um, and you can also do a test with an ohms meter on your plug wires your old plug wires to see what kind of, there's a video on youtube that tells you what 
ohms it, it's considered good to for when you make a contact between the two ends of the wires and and what ohms are not acceptable and when when it's time to replace the part the plug wires but anyway hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it later